Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a deep dive into two of the most popular messaging apps available, Samsung Messages and Google Messages. We compare their features, what we like and what we don't like to help make one your new best friend. Especially at the end of the video, we have summarized a comparison table for your convenience. Let's get started! Number 1 Contacts Samsung Messages has a dedicated Contacts tab at the bottom of the screen. Google Messages does not have a separate Contacts tab. Number 2 Web View Google Messages takes the lead here with its Web View feature. To use this tap the three dot menu in the app, select device pairing, and follow the instructions to pair your phone with your computer. Samsung Messages unfortunately doesn't offer this feature. Number 3 Recycle Bin Samsung Messages has a recycle bin for your deleted messages. Find this by going into the app settings and looking for recycle bin. Google Messages doesn't have this, so once they're gone, they're gone. Number 4. Themes. If you love customizing your app, Samsung Messages is your friend. First, open the chat interface, select customize chat room from the three dots in the upper right corner, and you will see some custom options. Google Messages keeps it simple with just light and dark modes, which you can find under Messages Settings and Choose Theme. Number 5. Search Capabilities. Both apps let you search your messages. In Google Messages, tap the search bar at the top and you can search for messages, images, videos and places within your chats. Samsung Messages has a similar search bar at the top but focuses mainly on message text. Number 6. Swipe Actions. Google Messages allows you to customize swipe actions. Go to Settings, then Swipe Actions to set what swiping left or right on a message does. Samsung Messages, however, does not offer this customization. Number 7. Auto-delete one-time passwords. Google Messages can automatically delete one-time passwords after 24 hours. Find this feature under Settings and Spam Protection. Samsung Messages doesn't have this feature. Number 8. Add messages to category. Samsung Messages allows you to add messages to reminders. Long press a message. Click a more tap add to category and it will be added to your category app. This feature isn't available in Google Messages. Number 9. Smart Actions. Google Messages has smart actions like suggested replies. You'll see these at the bottom of received messages. Samsung Messages doesn't offer this. Which app is better? Well, it depends on what you need. If you love features like a recycle bin and lots of customization, go for Samsung Messages. But if you want web view support and smart features, Google Messages might be the one for you. I'd suggest trying out both apps to see which one fits your style and needs better. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope this video helped you decide between Samsung Messages and Google Messages. If you liked the video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Catch you next time!